Hello everybody, welcome to Lee Twine TV. I am your host Mark Fusco and we're here for another episode. Um, got a bottle here of Swaggy Shiraz and um, got it because the name sounded funny and you know those Aussies down south. Uh, so, um, so we're going to check it out. So it's the 2008 Swaggy Shiraz from Southeastern Australia. Now Southeastern Australia is a, kind of a generic not generic, but it's kind of the equivalent of California. Um, it's, it encompasses quite a bit of the southeastern part of Australia that actually has, you know, that's broken down to smaller wine regions. So, like, kind of like, say, a state that has, say, like California is the best example in the United States, would have Sonoma and Napa Valley and Central Coast. So, that type of stuff. So, um, the grapes can come from anywhere in that, from that part of Australia. And, um, Check it out. So I'm definitely getting some uh, some red fruits. Mostly just fruit, so I think I'm getting something else out of it. I thought I was getting a bit of, of cocoa out of there, but no, nah, I think that was just a little fleeting, fleeting uh, aroma. Maybe a want of, of getting that, but it, I'm getting kind of cherry out of it. Let's go and taste it. Definitely fruity, um, kind of a bubblegum quality to it. Not like it's really sugary sweet, like like bubblicious and stuff like that, but um, kind of like a flavored bubblegum that's got a little bit of tartness to it. bad. By the way, it's eight ninety eight at HEB Plus. Forgot to put the price there. Um, it's kind of fruity. It's got a little tartness. The, the, the tannins are definitely present. Um, you definitely need to pair this up with food. It's not something that you're just going to necessarily be drinking on a fall day. We're all not quite at fall yet. Um, yeah, it's got a little tartness, a little bit of that fruit quality. Um, it made me, makes me think like bubble gum. Yeah. It's a decent wine. It's something spectacular, I'd say. 83. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to sit there and say it's going to be one of my uh, most favorite wines ever. Um, 83, I mean, it's nothing bad about it. I mean, it's drinkable. It's, it's serviceable. Um, I'm going to read the back of this. Now, there's a few other wines that are like this. They have different names. Um, and we bought, bought the Swaggy just because I like the name. But the back says, this wine is intended to taste like Australian Shiraz fruit and is not a wine that has been manipulated to taste like, in quotes, say, end quote, pepper. Which it doesn't, so you know that that's kind of the typical what you you're, you're, you're intend, you 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 get that a lot from Australian uh, Shirazes. All you are getting is a pure Shiraz ready to is pure Shiraz ready to enjoy, just as the famous Swaggy did in the Great Australian Depression. Now, in my brief research, Swaggy is kind of um, I know you can tell on the label, especially with the light coming in, but it's basically a guy who looks like he has all of his possessions on him. You know, like, and that's what they say a swaggy is. It's kind of somebody that goes, you know, a laborer that kind of goes from place to place looking for work and has pretty much all of his possessions. I, I, I'm guessing he had wine with him and it was Shiraz. I don't know, but, um, you know, it's all right. I don't know if it's worth $9, all right, but, you know, it's all right. 
So, um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell anybody not to buy it. How about that? So, um, like I said, Southeastern Australia. There's not much I can get on on this wine. Um, there's no website. There's I found a couple references to the 2006 vintage. Really didn't find anything about 2007 or 2008. Um, and it was kind of mixed on its reviews, and not even reviews. It's like you know, I found one place that gave it three out of five stars, and that's about it. So uh, I think I found another place that gave it like a, an eighty-six score. So you know, it's it's not something that you're um, you may not find this outside of uh, San Antonio or Texas. Um, it is distributed by uh, Republic National Distributing Company out of Texas, but the Republic is you know. It's got a lot of, uh, it's not just a Texas company, they're, they're based in a lot of states. So um, you might find it in other states that they distribute in. Like I said, it's not a bad wine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell somebody, don't buy it. But if it was, say, six bucks, between six and seven dollars, I'd be a little bit more um, inclined to suggest it as something that, you know, go out and buy it because, you know, it's, it's you know, worth that money. I, I think nine bucks is kind of pushing it, so... Anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, Somme A School has started back up. If you haven't watched it, click Somme A School. We did the Rhone this week, or last week, last Thursday. Um, this Thursday, we'll have uh, the Loire Valley. Um, and after that, um, <clears throat> I haven't decided if I'm going to go hit uh, Langu Languedoc or Provence. Um, definitely need to hit Champagne uh, and Alsace. So I might do Alsace and then Champagne, and then we'll move into Italy. Um, so make sure you do that. Uh, friend me up if you have any questions, comments. Uh, make sure you hit that. Uh, the video is being is being uh, distributed to a lot of new places, so I may be getting some uh, hello, uh, maybe getting some new uh, viewers. So if uh, you're not familiar with the site, head to the site. It's at the very end of the scroll. Um, if you're watching this through the Vidler player, you've got the little thing down here that you can click. It takes you to the website. So um, check all that stuff out. Really appreciate you coming in, and we'll see everybody again tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by.